Okay guys, welcome to another video um, of Hard City Raindrops. This is me and Storm. My name is Will and I am not a professional dog trainer, but I do know how to train dogs pretty good. I've owned many of them and we're going to do some pointers. You guys keep asking about leash training and pulling, so that's what today's video is going to be about. Okay, so before we, under we talk about walks and going on walks and pulling, you have to first understand why do dogs pull. And it's a simple concept to understand is because dogs have four legs are a lot faster than us they're a lot stronger than us so most dogs are bred to be out in the fields working 12 hours or hunting dog or, or they have a lot of energy so when you do any training before you do any kind of training with your dog it's important that you use up that energy by playing fetch or going on hikes uh, doing pooling exercises or doing other general dog activities not walking walking does not count Walking is not an efficient way to use up your dog's energy. I'm sorry. It's just, you could go on dog walks and stuff, but they're not going to use up any energy for that. Dogs can walk for days. Literally. Days and days and days upon end. You know, you're getting the running and playing fetch. You know, I always say, if you don't have uh, an hour and a half per day to dedicate to using your dog's energy as in playing fetch or something like that, then really you should just get a cat because you know some people have yards like this I don't have a yard like this and it's hard I get it but you know there's other kind of dogs and people think that there's other kind of dogs to where you know it doesn't make sense for them to have like they have smaller dogs or whatever they don't use a ton of energy and they just kind of left you know or there's people have houses like this and they just let their dog go so I'm in a case where I have an apartment and I just come to my mom's where I need to use more energy up for my dog and we need to do training and stuff. It makes it a lot easier when you have something like this. But in a case where you have an apartment or something, you can go on hikes, you can go and dog, go to dog parks. Most cities have dog parks, dog friendly dog parks, you know. Sometimes it can be a hassle. You, can, you have to drive there or walk there or whatever. But in most cases, like I said, if you're not prepared to dedicate that kind of time or effort into the dog, then you shouldn't even be getting one in the first place. If your dog's pulling you, it's gonna make the training session a lot easier throw the ball for a half hour, play fetch or whatever. Then you go out and do walks and, and pulling and it just makes it a lot easier because the dog's tired and they want to listen. All right, so what I'm going to do now is just train, um, play with Storm for a little while, get her kind of tired out, and now we're going to do some training. Dogs love to learn. Dogs love to train. It'll make them want to listen more. Make sure you have treats. Reward them when they do things that are good, even in the backyard. Okay. Now I'm going to recommend real quick that if you have a puppy, the first, like, I mean like an eight week old puppy, the first thing you're going to want to do is I recommend strapping the leash on you, actually on your hip and attaching it to you in the house, everywhere you go, get her used to that leash, put a very light collar on them to get used to the collar and uh, that's a couple things you can do. Dogs, like pit bulls, have a crazy, crazy amounts of energy. And you have to find a way to use that up. Now, I don't want to hear take my dog for a walk, it's not enough. 
Walks are not a sufficient way to use your dog's energy. That's more like a novelty thing. It's like, like I'm gonna walk my dog. It's nice out. It's like a, it's like what people do on a nice day. It's not something you should do every day and take is is really use your dog's energy. Is just go play fetch and you know stuff like that. Because you have to understand, dogs are not bred to lay around the house and go on walks. Good girl. This way. Good girl. This way. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. This way. Good girl. Hey, Storm. Good girl. So if you notice some of the things that I did right there, I was not tugging her. And that's one of the things that you, you don't want to do. If your dog's starting to pull and you tug, it's one, it's inhumane. So you always want to get your dog to listen. And the way to do that is to reward them and do exactly how I just did it. So basically, you have your dog and you're telling her, you know, to come here and go this way or that way. When you want, you want to make a turn and you want your dog to go the other direction, you don't want to pull on your dog. One that can lead to injury later. And also, like I said, it's inhumane. So Now, you don't want to lure your dog with the treats that's not what you're doing you're not holding the treat up saying storm storm you're not doing that you know you're just basically she knows she's going to get rewarded so storm storm good girl good girl see the difference is with luring when you're luring the dog just just all you're doing is you're just luring her and baiting her in you don't want them to do that you want them to start listening storm here storm here here good girl good girl Good girl. Storm, this way. This way. Good girl. Good girl. Now you wait for that eye contact. Like I said, that's the most important thing is always eye contact. Storm, hey. Now before, I'm gonna reward her right here because she she stopped pulling when I told, when I told her her name. Okay, so you always wanna catch them right before they start to pull. You don't wanna yank back and say no. You know, that's really counterintuitive. So, Storm, this way. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Storm. 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 Good girl. Good girl. All right, what I did right there is a dog barking and she's distracted. And I, I let her know that I hear the distraction too, but I want you to pay attention to me. Storm. Storm, this way. Storm. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. So in that situation, it's the same deal. The dog's still barking in the background. As soon as she made eye, con eye contact with me, I rewarded her. All right, so as you can see, you're not, the, the last thing you're gonna do is you're not pulling on the dog's neck. And what you're doing is you're just training her to get, you can do this in your living room. You always wanna do this in a place that the dog's more comfortable. Good girl. Good girl, mamas. Good girl. This good girl. Good girl. Good girl. This way. Storm. Good girl. Good. This way. Good girl. Hey, this way. Good girl. Yeah. Now she's getting the hang of it. The communication has to be on point. And that's the one thing you're gonna wanna nail down first. Like I always said in my last video, the eye contact. It's one of the most important things. It's gonna remain one of the most important things throughout all training of your dog. Eye contact. This way, Storm. Good girl. As soon as she started to pull, I said her name. She stopped, I rewarded her. Storm, this way, Storm. Not pulling on her neck or nothing. I just want her to make eye contact. Storm, Storm, Storm. Storm, good girl, good girl. No, Storm, come on. This way, good girl. This way, good girl, good girl. Sit, sit, sit. Come on, flats. Hey, no, no, sit, flats, flats, flats. Good girl. There you go. Good girl, Mama. Good girl. 
All right, so what you've just seen there is a basic startup to train for the stop pulling. Now, obviously, when you're on a walk, like an actual walk, uh, that's going to be a little bit different. If the dog's pulling, you're going to stop and you're going to wait, and we'll, we'll go over that. But what I want to say is, one, we used up the dog's energy, so she's listening a lot better now because she's used up more energy from uh, throwing the ball and playing fetch for a little while. Two, you didn't see me pulling on her neck. When she was pulling, you're not yanking back at her to listen. You're, you're saying her name, you're telling her a command that you don't want her to do that. You want her to go this way. She's making eye contact and she's getting rewarded for that. Three, you want to make sure that you introduce this early at the early stages of puppy, like eight weeks, all right, when you start doing this. And you're going to do it. You don't want to take the dog to a strange place. You, you know, do this in your living room. Start doing this in your, in your backyard. You know, Storm is almost a year old, so I'm out at my mom's house. She's already trained to do this, which is why it's a little bit easier for me to show you. I wish I had a new puppy to show you, but you know, it's going to take like a seven-week process, especially if your dog's really, really bad. But make sure you are bringing, you have treats with you and reward your dog with when they do something good and make it fun. And you're going to have to have a lot of patience. Some dogs aren't going to pick this up right away. You know, I know it's, it's easier just to yank the dog and stuff, but like that's, you know, if you're doing that kind of thing and, you know, your dog's pulling, you're yanking the dog to go this way. No, I want this way. That's inhumane to do that. Like, don't own a dog then at that point. Like, like I don't like you. We can't be friends. So just, this is how you do it. If you want your dog to go a certain way, you just easily you start giving them rewards. When storm, 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 or whatever your dog's name is. Wait for that eye contact. Reward them for going in a certain direction. Good girl, mama dog. Hey, this way, Storm. This way, this way, this way. Good girl, yes. Guys, can you believe I come to my mom's house to make a video and these guys come to cut down a tree? <laughs> what, like, what is this? No, this neighborhood is quiet. Oh, this sucks. All right, so the video is almost over anyway. All right, everyone, so thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps out the channel a lot. It helps the video get into an algorithm on YouTube to where it gets more views, and it helps out the channel a lot. So I really appreciate that. If you enjoy this uh, kind of content, I have a lot more coming. I have a dog walking video coming up, and uh, in the future, I have also some puppies, some people who are buying puppies in the next few months who are willing to have me come in and help train their dogs and film it. So there's more, lots of more dog training videos. There's more advanced stuff to do with Storm. And um, yeah, so if you're into that, like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate it. So that's going to conclude this video. Again, thank you everyone for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Guys, if you want to tire your dog out, that is how you do it. This dog is whooped. And it isn't even 6 o'clock. You can see this damn wash. This new dog bed, I just wanted to show you real quick, by Canine Ballistics. It's a uh, ripstop nylon, and it's really, really nice. Well worth the money. She got right in there and was like, this is mine, and it's awesome. I wanted to find something for you guys that I could put on the channel that wouldn't rip, and that looks like it's going to be it. So anyway, that's it, guys. See you guys next time. Peace.